So let's presume this is a finished track and you want to mix it down to stereo. You can either burn the song or songs directly to a CD or mix them down to a stereo WAV file for burning at a later date. Although most of this is covered in my CD mastering tutorial, I will give you an overview of the possibilities. Before I do that, I'm going to quickly clean up the end of a couple of objects and add some fades. Grabbing the handle at the bottom resizes the object. Grabbing the handle at the top corner will adjust the fade setting. Just for the record, you can glue MIDI parts by selecting them and going to the menu item MIDI, Glue MIDI Objects. When doing a mix down, I like to have the visualization open to assist me. It usually defaults to a long horizontal view, but this can be quickly resized by grabbing the edge. I recommend that you switch the workspace to Mastering. Now I will open the mixer and hide all the channels except the master by unchecking the Tracks box. I'm going to use a combination of the multiband dynamics and the advanced limiter. The multiband dynamics gives you up to four bands of frequency control and you can solo each band as well. The advanced limiter is good for avoiding overshoots. I'm using the minus 0.1 dB setting. By watching the horizontal white line on the visualizer, you can gauge the level in dBFS, and it looks to be around minus 10. If you want to adjust the EQ, there's a four band master EQ. Right clicking on any of the knobs will open the plugin interface for graphical editing. There's also the FFT real time EQ if you need finer control over the frequencies. Below that is a multiband stereo enhancer. Activating the multiband option splits the signal into three adjustable frequencies. You can then solo the individual bands and widen or narrow the stereo image for that bandwidth. Although this plugin does need to be applied with discretion. There's also a room simulator convolution reverb and at the top a dehisser. Not forgetting the vocoder in case you get the urge to use that on your mix. Sounds quite interesting. There's even an option for side chaining if you feel so inclined. So that covers the master effects rack. Naturally, you can add your favorite VST plugins from the plugin slots at the top, including the legendary Magic's ammunition plugin. I'm now going to burn this track to a CD within Samplitude. Press home to make sure that the play cursor is at the beginning. 
Then click on the T icon to insert a CD track index marker. Then place the cursor at the end and click on the end marker icon. Now press the CD button. You can burn a CD on the fly if you need to produce a one-off CD for someone. This method calculates all the FX in real time, so it can take longer if you want to do multiple burns, as it doesn't create a WAV file for later use. Notice that you can also burn MP3, WMA and OGG CDs if you wish. I'm going to choose the second option, which will generate a new stereo file. This will open up in the WAV editor and then prompt me to burn the CD. This file can then be used for subsequent burns. Finally press Burn CD. I'm going to create a new folder in the project directory called Mixdowns. The track is now quickly rendered to a WAV file. Now it's just a case of choosing the burn speed. I'm going for times 40 to hurry things up. So that's it burnt to a CD. If you want to check the CD, go to File, Load Import, Import Audio CD Tracks. It's also possible to import audio CD tracks directly into Samplitude using this function. A word about the waveform colour. You can change the default colour by pressing Y and looking under Colours. The default sample colour is set to white at the moment, but it's easy to change. As is the envelope colour. You can quickly restore the last or original setups by clicking one of these buttons. A special feature of Samplitude is the use of Comparisonics colours. This can be found under View Options. I'm going to turn on Comparisonics now. The waveform display colour is based on the frequency content and is my preferred setting. With practice you can pinpoint frequencies based on the colour of the waveform. These waveform display preferences are applied globally. Anyway, now that we have a lovely Comparisonics wave project, I can easily burn another CD by pressing the CD button and using the Burn on the Fly option.